Yeah, that's right. The other the other thing that comes up often, I have customers calling me about, uh, you know, they're increasing the viscosity, right? They're buying viscosity modifiers because they have a, they're hearing a tick in the motor. And I have to remind them that the oil is actually your primary coolant, right? Between all the parts, all the push rods and the bearings. So if you make it thicker, it's going to move more slowly and the heat transfer will be less. So, you know, stay with the viscosity that you're on, on a conventional vehicle, of course, your daily driver. That's what we're talking about. But um, yeah, Lake, do you have any comments on that about, you know, people that are that have a tendency to increase the viscosity thinking it's going to solve a problem in the motor? Well, we've seen it, you know, several times before. And I, I you know, back to the total seal side. Yeah. I, I don't want to see someone running a thicker viscosity. Well, then they have to, because uh, now back to we're going to need to probably bump up oil ring tension and do these right. things that are going to rob efficiency. And back to what Todd's saying, we're always preaching efficiency. It, it's if you can get the job done with less static load, with a lower coefficient of friction, you're going to get the job done more efficiently, which means your parts are going to last longer and you're going to spend less energy uh, yeah. to, to do it. And that's the ultimate goal. Uh, we wrote an article recently, uh, me and Matt Hartford for NHRA for the National Dragster. It's like, can the technology that lowers your ET improve your business's EBITDA? And the answer is yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> You know, a hundred percent, you know, just, right. you know, Todd just gave it a perfect example of that, you know, at a power generation plant. So it all applies. So really, you know, I, I can go back several years ago and think of a situation with an engine builder that they had their engines running really hot and they'd been running a 1550 and they were calling up asking, Hey, maybe we should go up in viscosity because we got these really high temperatures. And my answer was no, go the other direction go down to 10 W30 or 10 W40 actually. Right. And fortunately they had enough confidence in me that they listened to me and they went that direction and it actually solved their problem and they saw the oil temperature Sorry, go down.